What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Beware Bassett coming at you again with another one. Today we are on our way to the far south. We are gonna go down here towards Eugene and do some largey fishing and float tubes today. So I'm gonna do a float tube series. So you guys are gonna see episode one of my float tube series. This will go on throughout the whole entire summertime. Uh, we'll drop in at a bunch of different places. I'll drop in by myself at a bunch of different places and fish this float tube. So this is the float tube series. Hope you guys enjoy it. Should be fun. Gonna do a little frog fishing early this morning. Should get there still without the sun popping out. Hopefully this wind isn't there at the pond we are going to. It is getting kind of windy here and we're gonna jump with the float tubes and wind and float tubes don't usually match. Nevertheless, we're gonna hit the road. Gotta get some gas. Gonna hit the road, be free, and we'll see you when we get there. Deuces! Alright, we made it. Just chicken away from boat ramp. Oh, you got him! <laughs> he smoked it. I have to get down on that frog action. Yep. Making this little rat move over some grass. Trying to hit these trees, get under these trees and go over this grass. We got a Texas rig tied on as well. <laughs> my bad, I didn't know I was that close on you. I said I didn't know I was that close to you, my bad. Right? Oh, what a fish these hanging down trees, boy. What? Those hanging down trees up there. Let's, let's get over there. We can quick fish over there. What? So we can quick fish to get over there, just sidearm cast. All right, try to tie on a little swim bait. Let's see. If we can get these fish to eat this swim bait. 
because I can swim it over the grass if I want. It's not a heavy belly. I think they should eat it. Midday update, guys. Been fishing for probably about three hours. Halfway down the pond. Well, we already made it all the way down the pond, but we're gonna make our other journey back. So we fished one side of the pond and now we're gonna fish the other side of the pond back and see if we can get some of these fish to come out and play. It's been kind of slow. We've had some blow ups on the frogs, but a lot of missed opportunities, unfortunately. It's a beautiful day can't beat it it's not too bad it's probably about 65 degrees outside right next to the highway you know hear the cars the beautiful noise of the cars and the birds <laughs> but yeah no it's a cool little place to be cool little pond enjoy myself sitting in the float tube see if we can catch another fish there's a bunch of little trout jumping out here picture worthy fish hopefully Anyways, I'm gonna get back to fishing, move down this bank a little bit, and uh, yeah, let's see if we can get one. I'm gonna try to explain to you guys a little bit of what I'm doing today. Give you a little bit more insight on what I look for, how I pick things apart. Right now, it's falling down trees, really high grass, so you're gonna throw swim baits. For me, I'm gonna throw swim baits, swim jigs, maybe a chatter bait, swim it real fast, frog, buzz bait. Stuff like that. This bait is much more visible. We got a little more, better water clarity back here. I'm gonna do the do si -do in this cove. I guess kick back out and go the other way. Some of these fish are going to have to be concentrated. There's one. Got him. Got him. Come in here, buddy. On the swim jig. Sharp teeth. Yeah, he hit it and then came back and took it. Not a little bad fish right there. Take him. Start to my day. I had to get him in the boat quick. I wanted him. That fish is ready. Deuces! Gonna keep casting and chucking and winding. I knew I had more confidence in the swim jig than I do the buzz bait. I didn't know how good I had that fish hooked. First one's gotta come in the boat.
fish came pretty far out. Wasn't really close to shore. Did you just get bit right there? Or did you just cast right there? You got bit. Yeah, you didn't even see it, huh? <laughs> you didn't even know you got bit. That is hilarious. Look at the frog just fell out. Oh my goodness. Oh, is it still in there? <laughs> you didn't even know you got crushed. Bro, I, I heard. My frog was just gone. <laughs> I was like, what? Bro, I can't even back here. <laughs> I was watching, and I was like, did he just cast or he got crushed? What's going on here? Well, I am, if you want to really know. Pound and a half -er. Get some of these forward casts while I can. Well, he's dingling, dingling with his fish. He ate it on the paws, huh? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's so strange. And he didn't spit it out. He just swam off with it. Let's see him. About the same size as yours. About the same size, yeah. All right, guys, that's the end of the day. It was, uh, Actually kind of successful, I won't even lie. We came out here, gonna try some frog fishing, and we did frog fishing. He caught one, I missed a couple, he missed a couple. I missed a couple on Texas rig, and I caught one, as you guys saw, on the swim bait, so. Overall, I mean, like I said, I can't complain. It was a little bit of a drive. Got out here at like 7.30. Now we're about to get off the water, or we're about to drive home. It's probably about like one o'clock. It's not a long day of fishing, but a very successful day of fishing. And we swam around this whole entire thing on our flow tubes. That was pretty crazy. <laughs> it's, it's, it, it might look little, but it's not really that little. Sorry guys for some of the angles. Um, sometimes I'm sideways and it just happens like that. Nevertheless, if you like the video, like, share, subscribe. I am Beware Bassin, otherwise known as Jordan Bayless. And I'm out.